Hello guys, today we are going to play a 1v1 match on a beautiful map Westfold in Battle for Middle of 1 on the patch 2.22 in a random middle raid against Farad in the challenge of the 2.22 league. And we get to play the Rohan faction, master the Rohirrim. And hopefully, by the end of this game, we won't need to see where was Gondor when Westfold fell, because I will try my best that Rohan is not gonna fall tonight. Or Westfold is not gonna fall tonight. We need to recruit Meriorok Brandybok, pick up the draft from the Spellbook of Rohan to give those peasants some weapons. And it looks like we are against the evil faction. Holy moly. I mean, that's gonna be kinda tough, because evil factions in... Um, in Battle for Middle of One, on the map Westfold, which has plenty of settlements, are going to grow rich, and there is little to nothing we can do about that. If we need to make a ranking in terms of strength on this map, Mordor is the best by far, then Rohan Isengard going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and Gondor is the least effective, because of the only two starting units you have, you have no chance of actually effectively fighting for the map control. Okay. So, early on, uh, first of all, let's check the enemy faction. Hopefully, it's going to be Isengard. Oh, it's Mordor. Okay, oh my goodness, man. That's going to be tough. I'm actually kind of excited about this one, but... Never give up, never surrender. Always fight until the end. Rohan is also a pretty solid faction, reliable faction in early mid to late game. But Mordor is just the god tier faction, you know? Because Mordor has the chance in this map to easily recruit three flying heroes and... It's hard to keep up the map control against Mordor. Okay, so we need to kind of play it a bit smart. And I gotta be honest with you, it's been a really long time since I played on this map. I won me one last time. And I don't know how to play. Should I rush him early on? Should I actually go for the heroes instead and try to get... Oh my goodness, don't do that, by the way, Shanks. Don't do that. Meriodok Brandybuck. Okay, I believe we can take down this mill. And also, you know, always keep recruiting additional peasants. We need to try actively to fight for the map control early on. Let's set waypoints. Yeah, this mill is going to be taken down even with the Eye of Sauron. We got to wait now because we have no money. <laughs> Since, you know, we nerfed the peasants in the patch 2.22, right? So we increased the cost from 100 to 120. And now you might say, yeah, but 20 only, that doesn't affect. Well, um, trust me, guys, it affects really a lot. Because you don't only recruit one single peasant, so it's not about 20. It's about 20 for each, and you need to recruit eventually lots of them. So instead of having like 5 now, you could have, you know, 6. And map control is very important. Thanks for the follow, appreciate that, by the way. And welcome to the Twitch family. So, let's add some way more uh, waypoints. Why am I so... T what? Why am I so taking so much damage with Hobbit? I don't get it. Mary! Hey, Mary! Oh, what? He's going to die? I wanted to creep this one, dude. <laughs> no way. The odds are against us, boys. We need to now get up a steeple on the field as soon as possible. We luckily were able to destroy this mill. I mean, I'm happy about any kind of economical damage I am able to deal now to Mordor at this point. Because sooner or later, he will grow extremely rich. And I believe what I want to do is eventually I want to recruit heroes like Elma Theodin. Because I'm assuming regardless what I'm going to do, this game is going to last a while. I won't be able to finish off Mordor anytime soon. And for that reason, going for like a late game build of Rohan might be the right call. And the late game build obviously includes like Elma, um, Theodin. Level 4, you know, because of Glorious Charge and also additional damage leadership you get from the Horse Lord of Rohan, Elma. Okay, so we have a good amount of map control. Now it's about holding that. We know the opponent player has at least 3 settlements under his control, which is, again, enough for Mordor to actually grow rich. 3 untouched mills is, you know, definitely a lot of money. Because remember the Lamry mills in Battle for Middle of 1 giving you more money in compare to the farms. So we need to kind of actively fight for the map control. And also make sure that we keep our settlements protected. So you don't want to only focus on the enemy settlements and keeping your settlements for an open attack. And that's the power of Rohan early on because you have the chance to turn any farm outside into a potential barracks. Which gives you the chance and the opportunity to recruit additional swordsmen every single time. Yes, true, the, you know, the peasants are not the best swordsmen in the game, but it's fine. It's about the speed of a faction, you know, the speed of a production for you to recruit additional units, if this makes sense for you guys. So I think we won't be able to finish this off, but we can maybe save this one and also save this one against the Orcs. And the first row here is on the field. 
And I would like to use the first row here him to definitely kill those mills at the bottom right side. And we will definitely need more than one, two, three row hit him. But again, I want to, you know, we have a couple of options. We could also, I mean, it's kind of tough. You know, there are so many options and a couple of them might not work. And one of one option I have in my mind, guys, is I want to eventually build up a uh, archer range and recruit some archers for the outpost control because I don't want that the model player is going to get all the outputs. It's hard for me to... Hold on. We might need to use Helia, by the way, but we have not the power points yet. We go for a trample anyway. Uh, the second row hit him, go for the third one. Yeah, we need to go for the heal now. I don't want to lose them, you know? Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta heal them, boys. Let's pick up the heal from the spear book, fast. And archery range avenge. Oh my goodness, he's still... Oh, they were clumped like this, that's why. Oh, we lost almost the first row hit him. It would be like a very, very bad uh, situation. Okay, set waypoints, always be actively fighting for the map control, that's very important. Let's buy the farm and set them, send them back to the well for the sustain. Okay, so we are kind of holding ourselves, but that's not good enough. We need to kind of be able to deal, I mean, we couldn't destroy the mill at the bottom right side. And I'm worried about that. Okay, so we have Elma coming very soon and then... I want to build the archery range because I want to actually focus on, on the outpost control. You know what I'm saying? So now what we can do is creep with Elma. Make sure that Elma is getting a lot of experience from creeping. And then hopefully it's going to be enough to get him to level 4. Because when it comes to deal with a Nazgul or a Witch King, what you need is not armor. You need damage. You need to have, you know, lots of damage power for the Rohirrim archers to be able to burst down the Nazguls before they can burst us. Let's go for some creeping action. For additional power points, we have more than 50% of the map control, which is great. But again, Mordor is still getting a lot of money, guys. Okay, and he also had like a couple of Haradrims on the field. So it's a matter of time. He will def definitely get the chance to recruit some soldiers of Rune, and they are working like a pikeman unit. They are even better than pikemen because they don't get the chance to get upgrades. And for that reason, their kit is they are more resistant against anything but heroes. So basically, their main weakness from the runes our heroes but unfortunately for us all our heroes are going to be mounted hold on a second Elma is going to be almost level 3 after this one and really close if also now the king of Rohan Theodin you can split them up a little bit you know what I'm saying Theodin is going to join the one Rohirrim Elma is going to join this Rohirrim and we will try our best to preemptively like at the same time level them up to level 4 with the archers we can actually you know, place them in the outpost and kind of try to keep the map control as great as possible. Map control, ladies and gentlemen, I keep saying it all the time, is the, is the key to victory. Stable, um, statue, well, and a farm. You cannot have any, you know, enough resources. It's always nice because we will need fire arrows. Hold on a sec. Oh. I wanted to make sure that Elma is getting lasted, but it's okay. He was at least able to share experience. It's good enough. If also two power points collected, we can... Uh, try to save up for the tree for the elven allies summon but also uh, what we can eventually do is if he ever uses the tainted land we can kind of use our own elven wood to counter and cover the tainted land i want to also have elvin on the field just you know for like a you know i'm better safe than sorry elvin is a great hero when it comes to deal with the monsters and especially nazgul slash witch king use tainted land we can now cover this with the elven wood and go for a trample i want to get as much experience for my theodine as possible Oh, be careful. I don't want to fight. I want to steal this creep if I can. You go back home, guys. I'm playing so bad this game. Dude, unbelievable. I'm playing so rusty. There's now runes everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Hey, man, please. Okay. Okay, I mean, I don't know. We are so lucky, dude, that we didn't lose any of these Rohirrim. Every single one of them is badly damaged. Okay, let's try to fight this with the archers against runes. And I want to get Legolas also. You know, Legolas for 2700. Because once again, the main weakness of the runes of Haradrims are heroes. And Legolas is one of the one of the heroes with the highest DPS. Let's put them inside. Let's defend this one first with the skirmish formation. Um, uh, Theorin needs to be level 4. Elma needs to be level 4 too. Let's use spear throw. I mean, the thing is, the mounted heroes, they have no chance against runes, right? So... Let's put them next to each other. This way Elma can share experience. We are really close to, level, to be level 4. I mean, we definitely need that, right? So we have now 
In total, four heroes upon the field, three Rohan heroes and one Elven hero. And the Elven hero is gonna do nothing but kind of deal with the with the runes. That's his own goal, uh, only goal. We can also try to creep the troll layer. The troll layer, as far as I can see, is still remaining on the field. And I have bad news, boys. We are slowly but surely losing the map control. That's really not good for us. Let's put them inside. Let's get fire. And after the fire, we can also demolish the archery range and build up a um, armory instead. So I want to creep the troll layer in the middle and want to make sure that Elma is the one who gets the last hit. So Elma is going to be definitely level four first. Let's damage him a bit with Legolas and then finish him off with Elma, you know? That's the plan. We are playing it kind of slow, but that's what we are supposed to do. We cannot rush him at this point, you know? We need to kind of play for the late game. Spear throw, boom, nice. We share experience, we put them next to each other. Hell no! Oh no, no, no. Oh man, they actually kind of destroyed the layer in like a two in like two seconds, you know? I wanted to make sure that Tildin is the one who gets the last hit, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Uh, let's get the money, Legolas. Almost level 2, but again, Legolas is gonna level up anyway. Now, we are cash looting so much. I'm playing so bad, guys. Sorry for that. Really close to be level 4, though. Elven is level 2. You see? That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Legolas is sniping them, you know, from a long distance. But I'm very afraid that we might see a Nazgul very soon, you know? That's why we need to capture those outposts one by one and put archers inside with a statue behind. Statue is giving them additional damage boost, uh, which, you know, kind of... Uh, protect the area a little bit better build a well for the sustain this way we don't need to go all the way back to our base we can always you know stay here well he's coming for this for the attack legolas eventually needs to make a move we need to give them fire give them fire and go back inside go back go back, go back. okay we gotta come to this area i believe we can use this momentum and get theory into level four there are too many orcs we gotta target with the archers the runes though once the runes are gone our horses can clean up the rest Three power points collected. He actually deals so much damage to wood. And our wells are feeding him. I think he might have darkness very, very soon. Okay, Theoden is almost level 4. Elma is level 5, which, by the way, also means we have the outlaw leadership, right? Which, you know, basically we get so much additional money for killing all these orcs. Only 4 per, per unit, but it's fine, you know? It's not about... Oh, there we go, guys. Glorious charge. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Witch King. Legolas, shoot him, please. Shoot him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, that's formation. This way, he cannot attack more than one or two guys at the same time. The second you see a Nazgul with your Gondonites and Rohirrim, you want to always switch to the Vetch formation. Same counts also when you see, for example, enemy Legolas using Hulk Strike on your Gondonites or Rohirrim, you want to always switch to the Vetch formation. Shoot, 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 shoot. Please, please. Legolas, can we cut his way off? Uh, he's paying attention, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's okay. I mean, we were able to save. We need to also build towers. We are kind of broke, guys. We need to kind of reclaim the map control now. Because as we were kind of focused on leveling up the heroes, we kind of lost the focus on the map control. And all of a sudden, we don't have mid control anymore. Like, the mid lane of the map, Westworld, is completely gone. Maybe we can try to fight for this uh, outpost. Oh, he has so many soldiers of Rune, dude. That's unbelievable. I mean, Legolas is going to have a good time. And also, these units on top of the outpost are dealing so much damage. I don't want to lose any of these horses yet. Let's give them heavy armor to make them a bit more tanky. Now they have a lot of leadership, you know. Look, Legolas. Why you are in the melee range? And he's almost level 4. That's good. We can now take down the outpost and capture this one for ourselves. And once every single upgrade is purchased from the armory, we can also demolish it. We have no heal from the spellbook, by the way. We gotta be careful eventually. Let's use Hulk Strike. Pew! Only one? <laughs> Let's go back, Legolas. Go back home. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, Elvin is almost level 4. We have 5 power points collected. We might go for the end summon, even though the end summon against trolls and, you know, trolls with leadership plus eventually catapults. I mean, we don't even know what is going on inside the enemy castle now. I'm very scared to actually figure out. Now we can move on. Put an archer inside this outpost. And a well and statue. And then just, you know, kind of go slow. You know what I'm Front to back. Basically expand slowly before we just randomly rush the enemy castle. Because the map is just too big for you to ignore the map control. Otherwise, Mordor is going to grow rich. 
But we are getting also stronger and stronger. So my 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 Legolas is level four. All my Rohan heroes are at least level three. I mean, Elvin is not very important with the levels, but Elma and Kirin are. And once we have a couple of Rohirrim archers, we can go actually for the first big push. We need more peasants. I, you know, we gotta always kind of keep fighting for the map control. We lost the mid area, but it's fine. Um, I mean, we should be able to defend against orcs, no problemo. Again, going for a rush with Rohirrim only is kind of pointless because he has a Witch King. So we have nothing to deal with to deal with the Witch King. Yes, we have Elvin and her smite hurts, but it's not enough to one-shot the Witch King. So we can only chunk him. And then what? What else, you know? We can just wait for the cooldown, I guess. But during all this time, we will lose all the Rohirrim matches in Rohirrim. We are kind of broke all the time. Even though we have a great amount of map control, we are kind of broke. I mean, to be honest, we are also investing lots of money, right? Into everything. Um, yeah, we need some peasants. I believe the peasants should be able to deal with the runes. Uh, let's give them weapons with the draft. We can also upgrade them if necessary. Now we can demolish the armory after getting all the upgrades. And just be prepared from this bottom side. Now I know the top right outpost is under control from Mordor. But I don't want to root it now from the bottom all the way to the top side. You know, I want to actually use this uh, small... Momentum what I got and attack and pressure him in the main base and mainly to figure out what is going on in the main base in from the model player That's very important. Does he have too many catapults? How many thrusts does he have? Like basically informations which can help me To coordinate my attack for the for the next time a bit better Okay, I mean do it what the runes, they are actually winning the 1v1 situation against my peasants when my peasants have heavy armor. Are you kidding me? I don't want to use the end summon here, really. Because I don't want to feed him with lots of power points. The game breaking point would be him getting Balrog summon. It would make me almost lose my entire castle. And remember, you can always join the Balrog with additional Nazgûs and make sure to oh, he has catapults. Trolls, lots of runes. This guy is in a camp mode. I mean, I can't even blame him. At this point, you need to kind of have lots of units inside your castle. If you don't, this army from Rohan is enough to burst it down. Can I spear him, spear him? Oh, why didn't you spear him, Elvin? Elvin, you are so sloppy. Can we try to kill the siege warriors? Hey, Elma, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, he, she's spearing? Oh, we killed the Nazgul. Let's go. Let's go. We killed the siege warriors, so now we gotta bail. We gotta bail. Be, 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 be. Run. Run, you fools. Okay, he actually killed his own troll too with the catapult. That's good. Okay, now... Actually, we lost the full topside, dude. That's unbelievable. Um, we also lost the outpost. I didn't pay attention to it. I'm telling you guys, I play like... I play horrible. I play horrible tonight. Uh, we need some more archers. More Rohirrim. Look how tanky those runes are too. So we need to kind of reclaim the map control we have lost. I know I repeat myself and it might sound annoying, yeah, but Shanks, you always talk about map control, but trust me, guys, you know, you gotta trust me on that one. Like, map control is very important, especially in Battle for Middle of One. Okay, we have the bottom sides. Now we can reclaim this outpost. We have a lot of money, though. I mean, we can even get Aragorn on the field very soon. We can give him even Anduril's sword. We are also, if we don't pick up the Anduril, we have, like, we are eight power points away from the army of the dead. We are getting lots of power points collected. It's good. With our, you know, Legolas was killing countless amount of runes and i believe what rohan has to do in this at this stage is make combos you know make orcs and orc archer combination with drummer troll with witch king darkness you can also make them really strong and you have some so sort of threat you know against my rohirrim arches because rohirrim arches main weakness is fire and if you build up a big big mordor army with fire arrows uh, you can burst them down of course, they cannot purchase heavy armor because, Mon you know, Mordor doesn't rely on quality, but it relies on quantity and leadership. So Mordor is the one faction with a lot of leadership. Darkness, Witch King, Eye of Sauron, Tainted Land, with a lot of tools. Long story short, you can make a couple of trolls to protect your combos against my horses. And, you know, a couple of combos to just target my heroes like Theoden, Elma, Elvin, and also the Rohirrim Arches behind. So catapults, they are just gonna make you camp. I mean, catapults are also required, don't get me wrong, but I think they are not your biggest win condition in this situation. Because I have too many units at this point. Like, you can't possibly kill them with, like, four or five catapults, you know? 
Okay, so we gotta go for attack. Uh, let's train them with three archers because if you don't know, the Rohirrim archers are considered as an archer battalion, and not like a cavalry battalion. Even though they are able to trample, they are like a very unique unit to the Rohan faction, kind of in a, in a point between archer and cavalry. Three power points collected. We can also summon the ends here if we need to. I mean, we only need to deal with orcs, so we can definitely take a fight here, no problemo. Let's kill the orc pit first, so no more orcs. We have a great amount of map control. Aragorn coming up next. I def. Oh my, he's coming. Okay, go back, go back, go back. Oh, the catapults are chunking though. Even the Rohirrim. I mean, we have no shields for them, but shields wouldn't change anything. Shields are only making them more tanky um, against arrows, you know? That's it. So, glorious charge for death and glory, boys. Fourth Eolung fourth Eolungas. Let's use heal. And I, we can trample them. We, have, we are on the Elven Wood. I mean, on the Elven Wood, the enemy units have no leadership. We gotta kill the catapults. Let's chunk him with the smite. I am no man. <laughs> All right. So we gotta pay. He has used darkness. The monsters are not affected by the by the by the Elven Wood. But all his Easterlings or you know soldiers of ruin, they have no bonuses as long as they fight. But do they are hurting a lot? Oh, we also lost Elma. No, 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 no. Bill, 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 Bill. We gotta revive. We have so much money. Let's recruit, recruit Aragorn and revive Elma. We can even re uh, recruit Gimli here from this outpost just to deal with this Oryx. I mean, we have, you know, that's why map control is good for. That's a wrong call from him committing, by the way. He has no Witch King nearby, no Drama Falls nearby. Just, the Witch King is coming, but he needs to be careful with the Witch King. When he comes anywhere closer, I will chunk him. I will burst him down. We have still Tyrion leadership. And our, you know, units are highly leveled. So it looks like we were able to win this fight. We have even a peasant with upgrades. There we go. We gotta, tr we gotta target this troll with the outpost. Hopefully it's gonna be enough to defend. Smart from him to actually rotate from the bottom side, because he knows, uh, you know, our main army is at the top side. We gotta, we gotta focus down the troll. Kill, kill the troll, please, please, please. After the troll is dead, our peasants can actually do a lot of work here, guys. You know what I'm saying? The troll is dead. That's good. We might still lose the outpost, but it would be fine. The ants are taking care of the outpost, and we can now pick up the Anduril. Maybe. Picking the Anduril is not the best call because it's kind of slowing us down, reaching to the point in which we could summon the army of the Reds. Oh, we cannot keep this area protected, guys. He has two Nazgûls. I mean, one, one Nazgûl and one Witch King. But we can kind of swap the outpost, I guess. We can kind of... Yeah, he will definitely... I mean, we have no units inside of this one, so we cannot protect this one, unfortunately. We gotta build some more towers, just, you know, for the, for the, for the worst case scenario, if he actually gonna... Attack our castle with the Nazgûs. So we have some sort of protection. Okay. So I believe at this point we need to we need to kind of try to fight for um, the Offbreakers. The army of the dead. Okay, well, let's go to this outpost. Let's capture this one, please. There we go. Build a well statue and all the good stuff, you know. Aragorn is also joining the battlefield. Once Elma is back, that's, how, that's the strongest version of Rohan. With all the possible leadership. So Aragorn gives you leadership. Theodine, Elma, you can't be stronger than that, leadership-wise. I mean, you can when you fight at the outpost with Stasho behind, but I mean, mobile leadership, that's all you can have. Which is still enough, by the way. Aragorn gives you 50% damage uh, for, the, for all the units. Elma gives you 60% more damage for cavalry only. Theodine gives you 30% damage and 50% armor. So we nerfed also Theodine, by the way, in this patch. Theodine used to give you always 50% damage instead. I want to use this Rohirrim um, to reclaim. We killed the Siege Works, that's good. Let's kill the Towers. Let's fish as many power points as we potentially can. Aragorn is doing a phenomenal job tanking, absorbing lots of damage. We gotta just avoid trampling down those runes. A spear throw from Elma against the Catapult. So we can now build a bit because I don't want to risk the Biscuit. And, you know, always hit and run. And use. that's why you like to use the Rohirrim, you know? Is he paying attention? The Witch King? Oh, he's not paying attention, or he was paying attention, but it's a little bit too late. You see, level 10 Rohirrim Arches, boys, with <laughs> Elma, Aragorn, and Theodore leadership. I'm telling you. Leadership. And some of you guys are always saying in the comment section down below, this hero should have more leadership. This hero should have more leadership. Imagine even more leadership than that one, dude. We even nerfed it, by the way. We don't even need to smite, dude. Our Rohirrim Archers are hitting like a truck. And look our power point, boys. We have almost enough for Army of the Red. We can keep... Pressuring, kill the troll cage, and get out. Let's now 
you know, recruit some more archers and with them we can garrison once again all the outposts and make sure that we have enough protection. Now with this Rohirrim, uh, with this Rohirrim I would like to reclaim the bottom side of the map. So I want to have like two armies separated from each other. So we can kind of make sure to sandwich him from both the sides, if this makes sense for you guys. I think we are in a good spot. I just don't know how close he is to the Balrog Summon. Hopefully he's not as close to the Balrog Summon as I am to the army of the Dead Summon. Now we can rotate. I mean, all our heroes literally are highly leveled. Only Aragorn is level 5, but that's it. Let's put them inside. Now reclaim this area. I mean, we can go for the attack once again. We are kind of healthy. Let's use train archers to level up those who are not level 10 yet. I mean, orcs, they're gonna die anyway. They have no chance. Eight power opens. Like, two more away. Come on, guys. We can do it. I mean, I played so bad. But, you know, kind of patiently. Um, I think leveling up those heroes was the win condition. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to also see more videos like that in the future, please make sure to, to be subscribed to the channel and also leave a like, guys. Come on, please. Leave a like for your boy. And it would be awesome if you can get 200 likes on this video. I think with your help, you can easily do that. I trust you on that one, guys. Okay. I mean, we have almost the army of the Red Summon here. I mean, he has not enough units to defend this. Hulk Strike, pew! They don't even die. They have too much leadership. Even without Witch King, can you imagine that? Only from the Drummer Troll. Because I doesn't give you any armor. You kill those trolls, no problemo. They have too much burst damage at this point. And he has like 3-4 trolls, that's not enough. You need to have 10 to be able to fight this. And talking about 10, 10 power points in the bank. And boom, I summon you to fulfill your oath. What say you? And the Baradur is gonna fall into darkness. GG, my friend. GG. Well played though, I mean he played well, I think he was kind of playing a bit too scared in mid to late game, he had definitely more power than he was assuming definitely, you know, but it's GG anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one once again, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss the future uploads, I will see you next time, and even, you see that, even with so much map control, the more there is still more money than me, see you next time, until then, keep hitting like a truck, and as always, stay beyond standards, peace out guys.